Hello students, in this video we'll discuss Green's functions for second order linear differential equations. Let's be given y double prime plus p of t y prime plus q of t y is equal to some function f of t, a non-homogeneous linear second order equation with initial conditions y of zero is equal to y prime of zero is equal to zero. We say that g of t and tau is the Green's function for star if we integrate from zero to t of g of t tau f of tau d tau equals some function y of t, y of t is the solution of star. Okay, so I like to find the function, this Green's function is basically like a solution operator, right? So in other words, if I want to solve this equation, I can just plug in this Green's function over here against the initial condition and get the solution, okay? So here's the primary theorem about Green's functions. Is there a theorem? So if I'm given the function g of t tau, such that three things are true, such that one, the function is zero, g of t tau is equal to zero for zero less than or equal to t less than or equal to tau. Two, for a fixed tau, greater than zero and t greater than tau, This function g is a function of t, g of t tau satisfies y, satisfies y double prime plus p of t y prime plus q of t y equals zero, satisfies the homogeneous problem. Okay, great. And then with the boundary conditions, what? With the boundary conditions need to be that g of t t is equal to zero and g t of t t or tau tau doesn't matter t t is equal to one when t is equal to tau right so on the diagonal okay so it satisfies these boundary conditions over here all right and really what this is saying is this is really saying that the derivative of this function g of t is the direct delta function on the diagonal t equals tau okay from a more theoretical perspective and so um then g of t then the conclusion is then g of t tau is the Green's function. Okay, great. And so how do we prove this theorem? Well, the proof basically boils down to the following. So what I'd like to do is if it has these conditions, let's consider the function, let's consider u of t is equal to the integral from zero to t of g of t tau, f of tau d tau, well, now clearly what's one thing I can say from this, I can say that clearly u of zero is equal to zero. So this first condition over here is satisfied. So clearly u of zero is equal to zero. So let's do some derivatives now. Okay, so what's the first derivative gonna be? So the first derivative u prime of t is gonna be the integral. Well, I'm gonna use the fundamental theorem of calculus. So the fundamental theorem of calculus is gonna say, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in t wherever I see a tau. So that's gonna be a g of t t g of t t over here, right? And then f of t. And then plus the integral from zero to t of the t derivative of the inside. So that's gonna be a g sub t, g sub t at t tau, f of tau, d tau, right? That's just the Leibniz rule. Now by assumption, g of t t is equal to zero, so this term over here is gone. So that says that u prime of t is equal to what? Is equal to the integral from zero to t of just g t t tau f of tau d tau. What's the second derivative gonna be? The second derivative, u, t, u prime prime of t, is gonna be what? Well, I'm gonna plug in t over here, so I'm gonna have a g t t t uh, f of t 
plus the integral from 0 to t of g t t t tau f of tau d tau. Okay, beautiful. And so now, what do we know? So now I know that g t t t, the t derivative of g with respect to t at t t on the diagonal, is equal to 1. So this is just f of t. So my u t t, u prime prime, is equal to f of t plus this integral over here, the integral from 0 to t of g t t, t tau, f of tau, d tau. So now let's put it all together. So of course, what can I say about u prime of 0? u prime of 0 is also going to be 0, because when I plug in 0 into this formula over here, I just get the integral from 0 to 0. So also we know that u prime of 0 is equal to 0. So the first two conditions of my star equation are satisfied. The initial, the boundary conditions are satisfied. The initial conditions are satisfied. Great. And so now all i got to do is check it satisfies the differential equation. So let's do it. So now what can I say? Now I can say, what is u prime prime plus p of t u prime plus q of t u? What this is equal to? Well, let's see. So u prime prime is an f of t. So there's an f of t. <laughs> then everything else, then I have an integral over here. Then I'm going to have this integral over here hit with what? Hit with p of t. And then this integral over here hit with q of t. So it's going to be plus the integral from 0 to t of what? Of gtt. And I'm going to suppress the indices over here. gtt. Well, let's not do it. t tau plus p of t g t t tau plus q of t g t tau and all this is hit with what all this is hit with f of tau d tau but we know what we know that g satisfies for a fixed any fixed tau any for any tau in this region i know that g satisfies the what satisfies the differential equation so this term in parentheses over here is just equal to zero because g satisfies the equation so this has that u double prime plus p of t u prime plus q of t u is just equal to f of t so my function u, u of 0, 0, u prime of 0, 0, and u double prime plus p of t, u prime plus q of t, u is equal to f of t. Therefore, it satisfies this differential equation. Therefore, this function g that has these three properties is the Green's function for star. Thank you very much.